And if you believe that God is who God declares he is, you pray. We pray for Trayvon's mother and father that God be with them in this valley of tragedy and travesty. We pray for those minds and hearts and hands whom God has called to go to that area and to bring justice and calm peace. We pray for Reverend Rosalind Brock. She gets ready to mount the campaign led by the NAACP to hold back a race riot, but at the same time advocate for justice. We pray for the police that are in that area. And saints, we pray for George Zimmerman. I know that's hard. I know it almost seems unnatural. But God compels us to pray for them who despitefully use us. To pray for them who kill us in cold blood. To pray for them who are bigoted and biased and hide behind unfair laws of the land. To pray for them. Pray that God have mercy on him. That God convict his heart and his mind. That God somehow use him as an instrument for his glory. We pray for his safety. that no good comes from this man being executed by a mob. That's right. That's right. We pray. We pray. We pray. It hurts, but we pray. You're outraged. We pray. Angry and hurt, we pray. And that's what I want to call our church family to this morning, those who would, to either remain seated, some stand, or come to the altar. There's something we've got to pray about. There's some people who need our prayer right now. Our nation is not simply dependent upon the attorney general and our civic and communal organizations, but our nation depends on the prayers of the people of God. For when we pray, God heals. That that's the end of this story, that God heard their prayers. So we pray this morning. As difficult as it may be, as unnatural as it may feel, we pray. You pray for me, and watch. And watch God change me. Come on, one more time. I pray for you. I pray for you. And you pray for me. You pray for me. And watch God. Father and our God, here we bow before you. And as holy as we desire to be, we are still flesh. We come before you as a people that are outraged and angry of the senseless killing of someone who could have been our son or our grandson. We come before you as those who know all too well the identifying marks of race when it breeds its ugly head in our face. Come before you, O God, as those who are confused and fearful for our own children and grandchildren and our students. As those, Father God, who hurt with 
this boy's family. Yeah. We need you, God, to do what only your hands can do. Transform yeah. the anger, the outrage, the hurt, the fear into something that brings about your glory in this land. God, right now we intercede for his mother and his father in a mighty way. There's nothing I need that's greater than what they need right now. We pray, oh God, that you would comfort them and strengthen them. That you would surround them with wise counsel. That you would speak through those angels you've positioned in their lives. Words of peace and love and comfort and joy and forgiveness, oh God. God, we believe that in the midst of this mess, thy glory can be seen. Show yourself strong. We pray, oh God, over those attorneys and community leaders that gather even now, that they would not be advocates of hatred and violence, but of peace. God, that's how you've always worked. That's what you've always used. It brought us through the 60s. It'll carry us through this moment. God, give us a peaceful heart. And Lord, even as we gather this altar today for the conversations that we're going to have tomorrow in the upcoming days with our co-workers and our family, allow us to be those who remind them of the risper response. And those who advocate prayer above violence. And Lord, we pray with specificity for the name George Zimmerman. Forgive him, God. Let the love of Jesus Christ penetrate his heart so deeply that his life be changed and transformed. Protect him, O oh God, wherever he may be in this land. Quiet the hearts that desire blood for blood. Give wisdom, O oh God, to our legal system that thy will of justice shall be done. And God, we leave this place today believing that you will do what you know should be done. Not only in Florida, God, but right here at this altar. Give us boldness and bravery to speak against stereotypes that seem so small and insignificant but can lead to the loss of life. Not only in our co-workers and our friends and those around us, but even deep within our own hearts. Purge me, O oh God, of my bias. Convict me of my prejudice. God, remove from my own mind and my mouth those statements that are defaming and detrimental that are rooted, oh God, and simply my bias against someone for the way that they look. Do it in me, God. I stand before you in thanksgiving that thou art still God in this moment. We ask you to have your way. It's in the name of Jesus, who even in a dying moment said, God, forgive them. In the name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. 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 Amen.